Hey guys, it's Penguin here, and welcome back to another gold making video. In this video, we're going to be going over the Easter holiday event that is currently going on in World of Warcraft, which is the Noble Garden event. Now, this event is great for all gold makers, whether you are strictly an auction house player and do a lot of flipping, or if you are more of a gold farmer who does a lot of gathering, this is a perfect event for either of you. So definitely watch this video. And of course, feel free to use the timeline below to decide where you should skip to if you already know about this event or if you're strictly looking for certain information. But without further ado, we're gonna get right into this guide. And as always, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel and watching the videos. If you find this helpful or enjoy the channel at all, feel free to leave a like or even subscribe. But to start off, we're first just going to talk about the event. Now this event lasts for one week, starting on April 18th, which at the time of this video release, that would be a day ago, and it runs until April 25th. So you basically have Monday to Monday to start on this event. Now, in general, as you guys know, Noble Garden is for the Easter event, so there's a lot of egg hunting, you know, bunny rabbits, a lot of cosmetic items, which are really cool to collect. Now, in this video, I'm not going to go over every single reward that you can get from this event, because a lot of them are strictly cosmetic items, or not useful for gold making, or strictly just collectible toys. So if you guys do want to see a full list, I will make sure to leave a wowhead post down below, just to see what everything is available. You can of course go and check out the vendor. But for this event specifically, there are two different items that you want to look for at the vendor for gold making. And the first one, which is not as good, is the Noble Garden Bunny. Now this is one of the few battle pets that you are able to purchase, however the other ones are not worth it at all. They are pretty expensive, one of them is BOP, and the other one sells for like 50 gold. However, the Noble Garden Bunny on the other hand can go upwards to 20k depending on your realm. Of course, you can look at it and see what they are selling for. But to purchase this bunny, you need 200 chocolate, which we'll talk about how to get in just a second. So this is kind of that side pet that you can work for if you don't have enough chocolates by the end of the event to purchase the mount. Now the mount, the big ticket item of this event is called the Swift Spring Strider. Now this has been a part of the game and a part of this event for a very long time, so this is probably a familiar mount to you. Either way, you can purchase it at the vendor for 500 chocolate, and actually, there's a very, very small chance that you might even get it while gathering eggs during this event. Now, on average, the Swift Spring Strider can sell for anywhere between 50 to 100k, depending on your server, and of course, depending on your region, and depending on the time that you're actually trying to sell them. So those are the two items that you're looking for, and now we're going to get into exactly how much gold can be made. Now there are kind of two ways, like I mentioned before, to make gold during this event. The first one I want to talk about is strictly flipping. And what I mean by this is if you are somebody who has a good amount of gold, you will probably want like about 100k to at least invest with if you want to do this route. But as this event goes on and as we get closer to the 25th, there will be more spring striders on the auction house. People will want to sell them off to make some quick money. So the price will start to decrease. Once you see the price is pretty low compared to your server's average, you can buy them up, save them for a little bit, and in a few months, sell them off. Last year, I did this and I purchased four mounts for anywhere between 15 to 20k a piece, and I actually farmed up two of them myself. So in total, I had six mounts at the end of this week. Then throughout the year to this day, they are all sold. I believe I sold my last one about two months ago. So it did take me about 10 months on my medium pop server to sell all six. But the lowest one I sold was for 35k. And that is probably my fault for just being impatient and posting it, even though that is still at least 15k profit. And the more normal price I sold them for were in the 50k, and I even had some very high sellers in the 75k region. So purchasing at the low end for 15k, 
selling in the high end for 75k is super awesome. So for the four mounts that I did resale, so not including the two that I farmed up personally, you know, I was able to buy them pretty cheap, resell them, and those four mounts granted me a total profit of 145,000 gold. So it costed me about 60 to 80k, and I made 145k profit. So honestly, that is, you know, over double my money, invested, you know, 80,000, got 145,000 plus the 80,000 in return. That is really good margins. Of course, I only purchased four and only sold six in total. So if you're on a full pop or high pop server, you might have the advantage of buying a ton more. And honestly, if it's available on my server, I'm definitely going to pick up more than I did last year. But that is the flipping. There's really nothing special to it. You can look on the Undermine Journal or compare it to TSM prices, whatever you'd like to do. But honestly, buying in the 15 to 20K mark is probably my personal plan, as I know I can sell them for a lot more. Now for the gatherers out there who do not have any gold or do not want to invest for a long time, as it may take a few months to actually sell them, you can actually go out and farm these chocolates. Now, if you guys do not know or have never done this event before, basically in the main landmark areas around Azeroth, you can go and hunt Easter eggs. Basically, it's just a huge Easter egg hunt. There will be a video on screen where you can go and you want to be the first person to loot the egg. Every time you pick up an egg, it will be in your inventory and you right click it and it's basically like opening a bag of some sorts and most of the time you will receive one chocolate. So you need 500 eggs for 500 chocolates. However, every once in a while you will get a cosmetic item or you will get one of the pets that I mentioned earlier that are very cheap or there's even a very small percentage that you might get the mount yourself. So if you farmed for an hour or you farmed to get enough 500 chocolates, whenever you go to actually open them, who knows, you might actually get a mount as well and then you just doubled your profit per hour. So in terms of where to actually farm, there are a few spots. Now, as somebody who is not a big farmer myself, I will say that please take these words with a grain of salt. Of course, I've only tested a few of them, but if you want like to min-max and try to find the best thing possible, you should probably go to a farming YouTuber like Student. But the farm that you've been seeing on screen is the one at Bloodhoof Village, which is right outside Thunderbluff. So this would be a horde farm, Predominantly, of course, you could come over here if you're Alliance if you wanted, but in this little clip, as you can see, I've just been running through these like three eggs. There is one kind of under the boat, one in the corner of the house, and one by like the totem pole. I just kind of, you know, sat there for a little bit. Of course, not the fastest ever spawning rate, but I just picked those up, and in about 13 minutes, I was able to gather 90 eggs. So, you know, at that rate, that's about 360 to 400 eggs per hour, so almost one mount. Of course, I was just doing that, you know, I was on my other screen actually planning for this video, looking over and being like, oh, awesome, there's an egg, and gathering it. Now, the most popular farm at the moment is in Goldshire, and that is just because it's very small, very populated, and if you can get a good spot, you can hyperspawn these eggs super, super fast. Student has actually posted a video, I believe, this morning on the 18th about this spot. So, of course, it's going to be in high demand. However, maybe you can find that spot on your server and test it out. Other great suggestions is the Razor Hill Village right under Orgrimmar in Duratar. And also for Alliance, you could either go to Azure's Watch or you could go to Teldrassil or any of those kind of areas and loot the eggs themselves. Now, just keep in mind wherever you go, war mode on and war mode off will make a difference. And also, chromie time can make a difference as well. So if you're somebody who's looking to hyperspawn eggs, definitely go to the more crowded areas. However, if you do like to walk around and you don't mind it, you might be able to gather a ton more eggs if you try to go to one of these locations with chromie time on or more mode on or off and see if you can be the only one at that spot. 
But in general, that's basically it. The premise is the same wherever you are. You just want to collect the most eggs possible within the fastest period of time. Like I said before, you need 500 chocolates for this mount. So primarily, if you can get 500 chocolate in an hour, you're making, you know, 50 to 75k per hour, not including all the other cosmetic stuff and possibly a random mount, bonus mount that may drop as well. But that is basically it for this video. Thankfully, this event is a little bit more simple than the other ones. Like I said, this is a great event for anybody. Personally, as somebody who doesn't really enjoy farming myself, I'm definitely going to be purchasing some, storing them in the guild bank, and selling them throughout 2022. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Of course, if you find it helpful, feel free to leave a like or even a subscribe. Let me know where you are farming, and as always, have a good day.